Let's use the box method to multiply two and three digit numbers by one digit numbers. What is the box method? The box method is a multiplication strategy where you break the numbers apart into friendlier pieces before you multiply. Its official name is partial products. Partial means a part or piece of something, and a product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So when we use partial products, we break the numbers apart, multiply the pieces, and then add the products back together to get our final answer. We're going to be using boxes to keep track of all of our numbers. That's why we're calling the partial product strategy the box method. Let's try multiplying 45 times 3 using the box method. The first thing we need to do is draw our boxes. I am multiplying a two-digit number by a one-digit number. So I need two boxes. by one box, which is a two by one array. Next, I'll break that two digit number into friendlier pieces. Expanded form is a good way to do this. So I'm gonna break apart the 45, my two digit number, into 40 and five. I'll use these numbers to label the top of the boxes. 40 and five, just like that. This one digit number three will go along the side of my boxes right there. Now I'll multiply the pieces together using the boxes to keep track of the partial products. It's basically like I've set up a multiplication table for myself. In this box, I'm going to multiply 40 times three. Remember, if you know what four times three is, you know what 40 times three is. It's just like four times three with an extra zero on the end. Four times three is 12, so 40 times three is 120. And in this box, I'm gonna multiply three times five, which is 15. Finally, we just need to add the partial products, which are those numbers in our boxes, back together to get our final answer. So we have 120 plus 15. 120 plus 15 is 135. 45 times three is 135. Now let's try this strategy with a three digit number. Let's try multiplying 264 times five. This time I have a three digit number, 264, and I'm multiplying it by a one digit number, five. The first thing we need to do is draw our boxes. This time I have a three digit number by a one digit number. So I need three boxes by one box, which is a three by one array. Next, I'll break that big three digit number into friendlier pieces. Expanded form is a good way to do this. 264 in expanded form would be 200 plus 60 plus four. So let's break that number into 200, 60, and four. I'll use these numbers to label the tops of the boxes like this. Notice how each number gets its own box. The one digit number five will go along the side of my boxes right there. Now, just like when I had a two digit number, I'm gonna multiply the pieces together, except this time I have three pieces to multiply. I'm gonna use the boxes to keep track of my partial products. So in this box, I'm gonna multiply five times 200. Remember, if you know what five times two is, you know what five times 200 is. It's just five times two with two zeros on the end. Multiplying numbers with zeros is really easy. You just have to make sure you add the right number of zeros to your answer. So five times two is 10. With two more zeros on the end, that makes the number a thousand. This middle box is where I multiply five times 60. Five times six is 30. So five times 60 is 300. 
And then the last box is where I multiply 5 times 4, and that's 20. So I have my partial products, 1,000, 300, and 20. The final step is to add those partial products back together to get our final answer. So I'm adding 1,000 plus 300 plus 20, which is 1,320. 264 times 5 is 1,320. Let's look at a few more examples. Here's another two digit by one digit. So I start by drawing my boxes. I need a two by one array because I have a two digit by one digit problem. I'll break apart the two digit number into 80 and seven, and the one digit number goes along the side. Now, I just multiply the pieces and add them back together. 80 times six, well, let's see, eight times six is 48. So 80 times six is 480. And then seven times six is 42. Let's add our partial products together. 480 plus 42 is 522. And that is the answer to my multiplication problem. 87 times six equals 522. Let's look at one more, this time another three digit. So because I have three digits, I need three boxes. I need a three by one array. I will break apart my three digit number into 900, 20, and seven. And the one digit goes along the side. Now I just multiply the pieces. 900 times eight is 7,200. I know that because I know nine times eight is 72. And then I just had to add two zeros for the two zeros in 900. In the middle box, I'm multiplying 20 times eight. That's 160. It's just like two times eight with a zero on the end. And then in the final box, that's where I put seven times eight, which is 56. The final step we know is to add all of those partial products together. So my answer to this one is 7,416. Here are some reminders. Break the numbers into smaller, friendlier pieces. Expanded form is a nice way to do this. Multiply each piece and then add them back together. Use boxes to stay organized and keep track of all the pieces.